All right, YouTube, Droid Review here. Um, basically, in this video, I'm going to be going over how to unroot your droid. Um, there's been a lot of <clears throat> people out there that's wondering how to get back to stock. That what I'm going to show you right now will get you back to exactly how your phone is when you turn it on out of the box. Um, there's two things that you can do um, with this. Um, basically, um, there's one way to where it'll look just like how it is out of the box, or you could do it um, basically just unroot your device and just have all your apps and your contacts and all your settings the same. I'm gonna show you how to get your phone exactly how it looks out of the box so Verizon would never know that you rooted or changed any custom ROMs or anything to your phone. So there's a lot of people that are freaking out and saying, oh, my warranty, I don't wanna do it, I don't wanna do it, or yada, 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 so. Anyways, um, this is also going to, uh, I'm going to explain something real quick here. Um, Verizon, you know, has been telling us that there's going to be a 2.1 over the air update pretty soon here. Um, I'd say that's kind of semi true. Uh, people have been saying this since er, late November. So, you know, you don't know what to believe out there. When and do, when and if they do send the over the air update, I just want to stress to everyone that if you are rooted, and you have a custom ROM on your phone, you do not want to enable over the air updates or install the update. I highly suggest um, unrooting your phone, uninstalling the custom ROM, and then if you want to update to 2.1 through the Verizon you know, over the air update, do it that way. Or keep your phone rooted, keep your phone with a custom ROM, and just wait for a developer to make a, a custom 2.1 ROM. Um, that's probably the safest way to do it. Um, a lot of the ROMs nowadays, or nowadays um, disable over the air updates anyways. So even if Verizon were to push it to your phone, it's not going to update unless you make it update. So I'm just let, I'm warning you now, do not update to 2.1 if you're rooted and you have a custom ROM. Okay, let's get right into it. This one's going to be real easy, guys. Uh, just like every other video I do, in the show notes there to the right, please click on more info, read the description, do the steps. Um, there's a download that you're going to have to download to your desktop. It's called the unroot.zip um, uh, file, so please download that to your desktop. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to grab our trusty USB cable here. I don't know why I say trusty all the time, but it sure is trusty for me. Okay, so let's go ahead and mount our USB. As you can see, guys, real quick, I have the custom ROM here. I'm rooted. I've got all kinds of craziness going on on my phone. Um, so anyway... Um, I'll show you how to get rid of all this and, and, and send it back to stock. So I'm going to set the phone down and I'll show you what we're doing on my computer real quick. Okay, so what we have here, guys, is we have, um, this is the root of my SD card. You guys see this? Okay, so now if we scroll down to the bottom here, we see an, a file called update.zip, all right? Here's our Nandroid folder, yada, yada, yada. You know, everything else is still the same, but here's our update.zip file. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and delete that. So let's go ahead and delete it. So click yes. Okay. Once you've downloaded the file that you need um, to your uh, desktop, um, it's going to be the one that looks like this, unroot underscore update.zip. You're going to want to go ahead and um, place it. Just drag it right onto your root of your SD card, okay? So no subfolders. Um, let's go ahead and drag it to the uh, root of the SD card. Let it copy here. So it's copying right over. Now, something different with this one. Obviously, you saw it was named unroot underscore update.zip. What we need to do is rename this file to just update.zip. So all we're going to do is click file or right click, click rename. And then we're going to just basically take the unroot and the underscore off of the name of the file. I, I think you can see what I'm doing here. So there. Go ahead and push enter. Voila, done. All right. So now this update.zip file is on our um, SD card. So we're going to go ahead and close out and go back to the phone, okay? So here we are back on the phone. All we need to do is um, unplug the USB cable. And then we also need to reboot in recovery mode, which is power down the phone, push and hold X when you push the power back on, and you'll be in the recovery mode, okay? So I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, YouTube, we're back here. Um, we're in the SP recovery tool menu. 
Um, all we need to do now is basically um, unroot the device. And to do that, we applied that custom update.zip file to our SD card already. So now what we need to do is use these volume keys right here and the power key to scroll down to the install option. Just go and push that. So click on install. Um, there's going to be three ones to choose from. We're going to click on allow update.zip installation. So let's go ahead and click on that. It's not going to do anything. It's just going to blink real quick just like you saw. So it's not going to say anything like that. The next thing we're going to want to do is click on install SD card update.zip depreciated. So use the enter button right here. And then it's going to go ahead and unpack this and install all kinds of weird stuff. So while it's doing that, I'll can just watch it go through. Um, now, like I said earlier, um, there's two ways to do this. Uh, you can do exactly what I just did just now and no other um, steps after this. Um, but if you want to make the phone completely stock and have it look exactly how, like how it is out of the box, then um, there's a couple more steps that I'm going to show you what to do here um, in the next few seconds after this is done um, installing this update. Um, okay, so it's done. Install from SD card complete. So now we're going to go ahead and use this um, power button right here to back out. So let's go ahead and back out here. Now what we're going to want to do is, is we're going to click on wipe cache partition. This is going to delete any um, root files that, that, that are on the phone right now so that Verizon can never tell that the device has ever been rooted. Again, you're also going to want to delete a bunch of stuff out of your SD card that has to do with rooting your device or maybe some custom APKs, anything that would give them any notion. I mean, one thing you can easily do is just take your SD card out and they wouldn't even notice. So let's go ahead and wipe cache partition, push the camera button right here. Again, it's going to give you a little scrolly bar right here and tell you the status. That one was fast. It's good to go. Let's scroll up one more time and click on wipe data fig factory reset. This is going to basically put the phone, it's going to delete all your contacts, all your applications, all your settings. Now again, mind you, you have, you have all your stuff backed up, which I hope you do. If you're smart, when you first got the phone, you would have clicked on, you know, allow Google to back up my settings, which is going to back up your contacts. It's going to back up all of your applications that you've downloaded, your purchased ones. So don't ask so many questions or what's going to happen to my purchase apps? What's going to happen to my contacts? If you, if you allowed this to happen when you first got the phone um, or whenever you uh, wipe data factory reset your phone, um, it's always going to back up your um, contacts to the Google Cloud is what people call it. Along with your applications, you would just go into the app market and click on um, uh, downloads and it'll show you all the ones that you've downloaded or purchased. Okay. Um, so now we're going to, um, once we uh, did that, we're going to click on wipe data factory reset. We're going to scroll down here. There's going to be tons of no's right here because they don't want, just in case you mess up, you know, you don't want to do the wrong thing. We're going to scroll down to, um, yes, delete all user data. So let's go ahead and click this power button. So now it's going to go ahead and delete all the user data. Once this is done, guys, I'm going to um, uh, turn on my phone or uh, reboot my phone. I'll power off the camera and I'll power it back up as soon as my phone reboots. So we're just going to go ahead and use the volume button, come up to the top here because it said data wipe complete. So we're all done. We're going to go up to the top here and click on reboot system now and I'll see you guys back in a minute. Okay. All right, guys, we're back. Um, as you can see, look at this. My phone is brand new. So let's go ahead and tap on this bad boy. Um, let's go ahead and skip this process. Let's go ahead and sign into my Gmail account. So we're going to turn this sideways. I'm going to take this off camera real quick while I type this in. Guys, look at this. We're completely back to stock. I am freaking out right now because I hate, I don't even like it like this. I want a custom ROM and I want to be rooted. Um, now again, um, when you open up the marketplace, you're going to have to agree to terms and uh, whatever it is, agree to their terms. Um, your contacts will automatically be uploaded in a second here. See, there they are. They're already already there. Um, there's some pictures missing, obviously. 
Um, this little icon up top, the little recycling, that means you're syncing. That means it's downloading all the information from Google service through the phone. So um, it looks like I have a text message. Well, yeah, I got some text messages while I was unrooting this device. So anyway, so now I'm back to stock, guys. So um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, again, please feel free to comment um, them in the comment section. Please follow all steps in the movie description and download all files before you um, start this process. And please, um, um, if, if any of you know the answers to any of these questions these guys are asking in the comments, feel free to go ahead and answer them for me, man, because I've been getting a ton of responses and it's kind of a one-man show here, so it's hard to uh, answer everyone's questions as quick as I can. I'd love to answer everyone as quick as I can, but it's almost impossible. So uh, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for my next video. Okay, guys? Bye-bye.